Hey guys, it's Sean and I. Today I have a bunch of items that were purchased for my son for his homeschool lessons, but mainly just to have fun with. So I just wanted to share them with you. I'm going to try to go uh, as fast as possible and just share um, everything with you quickly. If there's something I show and you would like a more detailed like opening or review, then just let me know in the comments. So first item up here is from Walmart Canada. It is the seven piece instrument set. So you get the two little maracas there, a tambourine, the drumsticks, the drum, and the little trumpet, and everything stores inside the drum, which I thought was really handy. Next, I'm going to show you some stuff from Toys R Us. This item here is called Aqua Dragons in Space. Now, apparently, this is similar to, like, sea monkeys, kind of. You just add these to water, and these little creatures should appear. Just thought it would be something fun for him to do, you know, part of our science experiments. Now, this gift uh, was bought for him, but... Um, it's nowhere ready for this. This is six and plus, but this is something we can just kind of use. And then as it gets older, we can use the other items. So this is veterinary science. So this is a really cool vet set. It even has this thing down here, this in the middle here, shows that um, you can sew on it to practice stitches. I thought but that was really cool. So I'm just gonna turn it over and show you what's on the other side. Yeah, so this is the kid. Sorry for that glare. But yeah, it's just a fun little thing that, again, we can use during our science lessons. And the last thing from Toys R Us, um, which I'm going to give him probably tomorrow to start working on, is this learning resources. It's the one, two, three, build it. So you get the car the airplane and this boat and basically it's a building kit that you can build different items with and you can probably just mix and match this is a stem product and it's for ages two and up so I think he's really gonna enjoy that next we have just some workbooks from Dollarama so Again, these are items I can do with him, just hand over hand, getting him familiar with different things like phonics, his shapes, numbers. So, yeah, so just basic little workbooks. Okay. Up next, I'm going to show you the items that were purchased from Winners Canada. So... This is the first item. This is a 27-piece puzzle by Melissa and Doug. It is a train, and when you build it out, it's an alphabet train. So I thought that would be perfect for our letters, recognition, and stuff like that. And plus, he loves doing puzzles. This next item was actually, it was originally like 13 bucks, and then it said 8 but I got it for $3 because the box was damaged. So this is a really cool set. He, again, no, we're ready to do this, but there is a plastic mold in here. So um, he can use the plastic mold with this Play-Doh for the time being. But this is like a plaster set. So you get the plaster mix and you can make these here in the middle and then you get to paint them. So I'll just show you here. Comes with a reusable tray at the perfect cast casting materials, paints, paintbrush, magnets, glue, instructions, educational booklet. So, yeah. So that's going to be something fun that we can do when he's a little bit older. But like I said, for now, he can use this plastic tray and use um, his Play-Doh to make some of these items. Also from Winners, I picked him up this puzzle set. So this is a really cool puzzle. It comes with four different puzzles. This puzzle here contains all the uh, creatures like the frog and the 
butterfly and snail so this one's an eight piece puzzle this one here for the butterfly is a two piece puzzle the snail is a four piece puzzle and then the little frog is um a six piece puzzle so i think he's really going to enjoy that this will be perfect when we're talking about bugs or nature or reptiles we can just pull this out i really like the wonderwell products these are fabulous especially like when we go out to a restaurant or something because all you need is to add a little bit of water to that tube so this one is really fun this is like a flip book of numbers and shapes so it's you fill up that tube with water and he can reveal the pictures and then they dry up and then he can do them over and over again so i like that because it's reusable so those are all the cards you get numbers one to ten and then some shapes and there's also his colors there it's hard to see but there are colors there too so that's perfect and uh, before I get any comments I've gotten comments uh, before about letting him play on like on my other channel about playing with my dolls but he has um, all his cousins are girls so um, he likes doing activities like this so this is another Melissa and Doug product and this is the like faces so you get the blank faces you get 20 bases and then you get all the different stickers so there's five sticker sheets and you get to design your own faces so i thought that would be something cool to do those are all the different faces you get and this is also good for talking about diversity and how not everybody looks the same and how will have different skin tones eyes different hair so this will be perfect for that and then I got him some other sticker books. So this one is Emergency Machine. So it's like one of those books where it has the information. And then there's a bunch of stickers that you can place inside. Sorry, I'm actually wrong about this book. This book is strictly um, emergency vehicle book. So this just talks about all the different vehicles that you could use in emergency situations. So this is really good. Just um, right now we can use it for identifying vehicles. And then as it gets older, we can learn further detail of what the actual vehicles are used for. So that's going to be good for that when we're doing community helpers. This one is a sticker book. So this is um, dress up book. So there's all the stickers. And then there's just different scenes that you can create with the stickers. You can add the stickers to the pages where the stickers belong. Stickers are great for fine wilder, peeling off the stickers and sticking them. So that's another good one that we can use during community helpers week. And this last one is just a book about construction machines so again like the first book i showed you it talks about all the different machines used in construction so right now we can just go over the names of the vehicles and as it gets older again just you know reading the actual information and learning what these machines do so great find at winners next i'm going to move on to the dollar tree first item our dollar tree here in Toronto is a dollar twenty-five. So this first book is Stone Age Babies. So this is really cool. It talks about animals that lived in the Stone Age. So we have like these ones: saber-toothed tiger, I believe the woolly mammoth. So he picked this out because he thought this was an elephant. So he's like elephant, elephant. So we grabbed this book. So that'll be interesting to read to him. This I really love. I want to see if they have some other ones with different shapes. But this is 20 Play-Doh tools. So you get a bunch of different cookie cutter kind of tools. And then you get like that little rake there. And there's a roller and a pair of scissors. So this will be really great when we're working with our Play-Doh. Different shapes that we could use. Now this, uh, again, he's too young for this, but this will be cool when we are riding up in the cottage in the car. We can try to find some of these items. I can say, oh, look, there's a cow or, oh, there's a hospital. And, you know, it does have the American kind of flag there, which I might stick a Canadian flag sticker over that just to change that. But that's about it. This, you get two bingo cards with these dry erase markers. So just something fun we can do in the car. 
This next item is a little container and it's broken down into like three sections, which I like. So again, we can take this with us on the go. We can also use this during our art lessons or science lessons. You can put different things in the compartments. I kind of think I'll use it uh, right now when he's young just to take items to the park with us. It'll be easy just to store them and carry them with us. So it's a great little container. This item, he already took the label off, but I bought it for when we're talking about dentists or doctors. These are chattering teeth. I'm not going to turn on because it's kind of a little loud, but just little chattering teeth. Again, this will be great. Um, I can get out his toothbrushes and he can pretend to brush the teeth on here and say, okay, now brush your teeth and brush his teeth and just a game we can play together. So a little fun item. This is a In the Wild sticker album from the Dollar Tree. So again, stickers and you stick them in the right places and this will be great again for language. Just talking about the different animals. Then we have this one. Again, I'll be doing hand over hand with him. So, great for his language. So, colors and shapes. And then, I've seen these before in other people's videos. These are the morning starters. Again, nowhere close to his age. But, it's just something to, uh, good to have right now. Because, just in case when he is kindergarten age, I can't find this. At least, I'll have it ahead of time. Next, I'm going to move on to stuff we found at Marshall's. So we always doing science experiments and he loves bath bombs. So I picked him up these five bath bombs. They are shaped like little ducks. So again, just something fun to throw in his bath and you can watch it. Uh, we're not really religious, but I found this item and I thought this might be some, you know, some different reading material for Easter. So this is the first Easter. So Enjoy reading that to him and see what this has to say. This one I got because uh, one of his grandfathers loves squirrels, so I thought this would be a fun book that he could share with him. This is A Secret Life of Squirrels. So it's just a fun book of pictures of the squirrel doing some different funny things. So just a fun little story we can read in the fall time. This item I grabbed for him. These are good for fine molder. They're a little. They are. It says 12 spring clips. So they are metal. So I already tried to pick them up with his magnet. And they do stick. So that's great. We can use them for different games. You can sort them by color. You can use them for, you know, his pincher grip and holding and picking up items. So grabbed him those. This was got, um, bought for him. This is... The Melissa and Doug stack and sort board. So this goes by shape and color. So you have the five here, four, three, two, and one. So another thing to work on his counting skills. And the last item is a deluxe tool belt by Melissa and Doug again. This is really fun. It comes with some toy uh, tools, different tools, uh, like some Velcro on these pieces of wood here that he could pretend to cut. This is a great find. He already does have the Melissa and Doug workbench. So this is just something fun that we can add to it. And it comes with 14 pieces. For that price, you can't uh, pass it up. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.